To understand subtraction, you must understand the three components as well as the concept of subtraction. The menu end is the number of items that you start with. In this case, it is eight. The subtrahend is the number of items that you take away, which is three. The difference is the number left over in the menu end. The difference here is five. Here are three rules of subtraction. Rule number one, if two whole numbers are being subtracted, the answer is another whole number. Rule number two, to subtract, move from left to right. Rule number three, when zero is subtracted from a number, the difference is the beginning number. Subtraction can be illustrated with a number line. For 10 minus 6, start at 10 and move 6 spots to the left. The remaining spot is 4. Remember with addition, movement goes toward the right. Here are some more subtraction examples. To subtract numbers with two or more digits, it is best to write the problem in columns. To subtract 13 from 76, write 76 minus 13 and line up the columns. Always start at the far right column. Start with 6 minus 3, which is 3. Move to the next column, 7 minus 1 is 6. The answer is 63. Next, subtract 79 from 93. Writing the numbers in columns, 9 cannot be subtracted from 3, so it is necessary to borrow. Take 110 from the tens column, making the 9 an 8, and adding 10 to the ones column results in 13. Now subtracting 13 minus 9 is 4. Now work on the left column. Remember, 9 was reduced to 8 due to the borrowing needed for the right column. So subtract 8 minus 7. It's 1. The difference is 14. For the next example, there are three columns. 2 minus 7 is not possible. Barring from 5 results in 4 in the tens column and 12 in the ones column. Continuing to subtract, 12 minus 7 is 5. Next, 4 minus 2 is 2. And finally, 8 minus 4 is 4. It may be necessary to borrow several times, like in the following example. 5 minus 7 is not possible. Borrowing from the 4 results in 3 in the tens column and 15 in the ones column. 15 minus 7 is 8. Now let's move to the second column. 3 minus 8 is not possible. Borrowing from the 3 in the hundreds column results in 2 in the hundreds column and 13 in the tens column. 13 minus 8 is 5. Now it's time for the third column. 2 minus 9 is not possible. Borrowing from the thousands column results in 1 in the thousands column and 12 in the hundreds column. 12 minus 9 is 3. And finally, subtract the last column. 1 minus 1 is 0. The final answer is 358. Subtracting 981 from 3,926. Before starting with subtraction, put a zero in front of the nine as a placeholder. Now let's subtract as before. Six minus one is five. Two minus eight is not possible. Borrowing from the hundreds column results in eight in the hundreds column and 12 in the tens column. 12 minus eight is four. Go to the next column. 8 minus 9 is not possible. Borrowing from the thousands column results in 2 in the thousands column and 18 in the hundreds column. 18 minus 9 is 9. At last, 2 minus 0 is 
2. The answer is 2,945. Finally, subtract 4,597 from 9,688. 8 minus 7 is 1. 8 minus 9 is not possible. So borrowing from the hundreds column results in 5 in the hundreds column and 18 in the tens column. 18 minus 9 is 9. Then 5 minus 5 is 0. The last step is 9 minus 4. It's 5. The answer is 5,091. Inverse operations are operations that undo the other operation. Addition and subtraction are two such operations. Because of this, addition can be used to check subtraction. To check whether 543 minus 326 is actually 217, addition can be used. Since subtraction is the minuend minus the subtrahend equals the difference, then to check using addition, add the difference plus the subtrahend to get the minuend. 217 is the difference plus 326, the subtrahend, and using addition as before, the result is 543, which is indeed the minuend. This means the difference, 217, is correct in the subtraction problem. Now check whether 735 minus 671 is 84. 84 is the difference plus 671, the subtrahend, use a zero as a placeholder as before and add. The result is 755. This is not the minuend, which was 735. So it is concluded using addition that 735 minus 671 is not equal to 84. can be used to estimate subtraction. To estimate the difference between 646 and 312, round the minuend and subtrahend to the same place. 4 is at the tens place. Look at the place next to 4 on the right. It's 6. Since 6 is greater than or equal to 5, then rounding 646 to the nearest 10 makes 4 go up 1, becoming 5. Finally, put 0 in the ones place. 646 rounds to 650. For 312, 2 is in the ones place and less than 5. So 1 in the tens place remains unchanged. Put 0 in the ones place. 312 rounds to 310. Now subtract the rounded numbers to get an estimated difference. 650 minus 310 results in 340. Compare the actual and the estimated difference. They aren't equal, but close. To estimate the difference of 5,697 and 4,126, again, round the minuend and subtrahend to the same place. This time, we choose the hundreds place. 5,697 rounds to 5,000. 700 and 4,126 rounds to 4,100. 5,700 minus 4,100 results in 1,600. The actual difference is 1,571. To successfully solve a word problem, follow these steps. Step one, carefully read the problem. Justin owed his friend $584. He paid him $325. How much more money does Justin owe his friend? Step two, picture the problem. One friend borrowed money from another. Step three, decide what type of math problem to use. In this case, it makes sense to subtract the amount of money Justin has paid his friend to see how much more money he owes. 
Step four is to correctly solve the problem. Subtracting as before, the answer is 259. Justin now owes his friend $259. Following the steps again, read the problem in detail. Shamika wants to buy an air fryer as a gift to her mom. The fryer will cost $58.79. She has a coupon that saves her $12.36. What's the estimated final price of the fryer before taxes? Reading carefully, the question said to estimate. Next, view the problem as a picture. There's the cost of the air fryer minus the coupon discount. This leads to step three. Subtraction is the operation that is necessary. Next, perform the math needed to find the answer. Since it is an estimation that is needed, round each number to the same place. Rounding to the nearest dollar results in 59 minus 12. Subtracting column by column, the estimated price of the fryer using the coupon is $47.